Hello viewers, welcome to Easy Cloud. My name is Arvind. Today we'll be learning how to set host name for an EC2 uh, Linux instance with a name tag that has been provided in the AWS uh, tags via Ansible Tower. So firstly, uh, while launching the EC2 Linux, we'll be giving a uh, name tags, right? So uh, we, we uh, by, by using the name tag from that AWS tags, we'll be setting the host name via Ansible playbook, okay? Okay, let's uh, go to the session here. So uh, uh, there are some prerequisites uh, uh, that we need to uh, uh, create before uh, no, implementing the playbook. That is, we need to create the IAM role to, uh, uh, be, uh, with which we can uh, access the name tag. Okay, and the AWS metadata is nothing but the uh, this metadata link will give you the details of your instance. So any any server that you're running this metadata, so it will give you the in, uh, information of, about that particular server. What does the uh, uh, like instance ID, AMI ID, IPv4 address of that particular server. We can get gather this information from the EC2 Linux uh, server itself. Okay, it can be used for both Windows and Linux as well. Okay, so first let's go ahead and create the IAM role. Create role. Okay, here uh, we need to paste this permission. We just need this particular permission in order to access the tag, name tag. Okay. We can give it as Host name. So uh, successfully created the role. Next, we need to launch the instance. So here uh, we'll be uh, launching the RHEL instance in the private subnet. I'm using this on point six. T two small. Here I'm going to use private VPC subnet two. I'm not going to use a public IP. We'll be using the private IP only. In this and the role will be host name that we just created. Okay. Then storage and tax name will be Linux iPhone web server and I'm gonna allow all the traffic launch okay so we have successfully launched the EC2 instance now and the uh, IM role as well has been tagged okay, let's configure this instance in our Ansible. Okay, so go to the inventories and uh, static Linux. I'm just going to replace this here. Okay, done. You can also try doing a ping test. Okay, let me check if it is uh, running. Okay, let me try doing a ping test once. Okay, it's still not yet started, I guess. So actually it will take a couple of minutes uh, you know, in order to uh, complete the launch. Okay, let's try again. It's still not reachable. It's still in the initializing state. Okay, 
let me try it again yeah so this time it's successful so uh, yeah now it is successfully completed so now we will have to do the domain join so uh, before you know setting the host name we need to do the domain join so yeah uh, if you uh, are not sure about this domain join playbook uh, you can now uh, uh, see our uh, no, watch our previous video on how to do domain join using a uh, ansible playbook or even manually uh, i've explained it and i've also updated in the description field in case if you want to know how to do domain join by ansible tower okay uh, so inventory we have updated credentials have been updated so i'm just gonna launch it So installing all the packages and doing the domain join okay so in meanwhile let me explain you how the playbook has been written for this host name so uh, as you all know uh, by now that uh, how the role works right so the first playbook uh, will be implemented is this one install.yml so here it, we are giving the path of the role where all the uh, playbooks or uh, tasks and war files and all those files where it is located so we are giving the path here the current dot is nothing but the current directory and the host name is a folder where all the files exist okay here i'm clicking on the host name here if you see here under task there are main dot yml file and rhl file so in the task the first file that will be executed is main file so it just says that if the uh, ansible os family is read that then execute the rhl.yml file so yeah the rhl.yml file so here if you see for uh, a host setting the host name via ansible tower we need python to be installed in the uh, ac2 linux server so most of the server will have python in case if it is not there then it will go ahead and install it okay and once uh, python is installed we need to install pip as well okay so once the pip has been installed we are using this URL from where it will directly download. And uh, once it is download, it will use this uh, you know, shell uh, module to install the pip. And once that is done, then it will install Boto. Okay. So once Boto is installed, then uh, Boto is required uh, uh, in order to access the AWS uh, resources from the uh, server, Linux server. That's why we need Boto. Boto is mainly for the AWS okay so once that is done we are getting the instance id so as i said earlier in the metadata so with this link we can get the id of the instance id of the particular server from where it is running okay this is the link through which you can get the instance id of that particular server you can with this link you can run this link anywhere this url in any server it will give the instance id of that particular instance where it is been run okay so once uh, it is run we are capturing the output and uh, we are using this ec2 instance info through which we are uh, you know, setting this aws region as us east one and the instance id we are ge uh, getting the instance id from this instance id raw from the metadata and we are you know we are declaring it here and after that we are using this we are registering the ec2 facts this uh, output and we are uh, uh, restoring it and using the host name module we are setting the host name so name is nothing but ec2 facts we are using this ec2 facts here the uh, value that was written by this uh, which has been stored here dot instance zero so the value that was provided by this instance id raw that i uh, instance it is using dot tag name so it is getting the tag name from the aws if you see here we are we have set the uh, name as linux hyphen web server right so it is getting it is getting the uh, name tag from there with this instance id so it will uh, search for the instance id if it matches this instance id it will get the name tag from here okay and once it gets a name tag it will be set 
in the, as a host name here. Okay, the easy cloud.int is our DNS name. Okay, and now once it is done and the reboot is required for the server once the host name is set. Okay, so this is our playbook written for the host name. Okay, let's check this. So uh, now you got basic understanding of uh, how the host name playbook is been written, right? Okay, next now uh, the domain join is successful. So next we will create a project for the host name. So we need to select the, uh, we need to give the URL. So we need to give this URL here. and credential okay we have created the project successfully and we'll create the template now host name And this would be static Linux project host name playbook install YML credential. So we can uh, use either uh, the temp file or uh, the host name like the AD credentials. So since we have domain joint, we can use the AD credential. And Webocity, we can keep it as a more Webo so that we can see the output. So I've saved it. Launch. Okay, now it will go and set the host name. It's almost done. So installing the pip, getting the instance ID. Yeah, it is rebooting now. Okay, let's go ahead and check now. So this is the private IP. Okay. I'm trying to connect here. Okay, since it is rebooting, Will take some time to come back. Okay. Let's check the status here. It's still running, so it's not yet back. Okay, let's try from here. Okay, it's back now. So let's try to log in with our domain credentials here. Okay, successfully logged in with the domain credential. Let's switch to user. Okay, so uh, as we can see here, the host name Linux dot web uh, Linux web server has been set already. Okay, let's check it here. So if you see here, Linux hyphen web server dot easy cloud dot end, even the whole domain name has been set. Okay, uh, with this we can uh, you know use. And also we can check whether it is, uh, we are getting the value. So let's do NS lookup for our host name. So here we are getting the IP address. See here, this is the IP address for our server. Okay, same way we can try doing NS lookup. This here, we got the value here, Linux web server. 
Okay, so in order to check whether it is, you know, uh, uh, we are getting the, you know, whether it is resolving or not. So let's try doing one thing. Uh, let's install uh, HTTPD Apache server and check. Done. Let me start the service. Okay, uh, the service is started. Let's try to check whether we are able to access it with the host name. So I'm just giving this host name Linux Web Server. See here, we are able to access the Apache server and it is resolving as well. In case if the name uh, tag is changed later on, then also we can go ahead and run the playbook. So here, instead of this, then I'm going to give my name here, Arvind, web server. Okay, I've changed the value here and I'm going to run this playbook again. Let's see whether it is changing or not and uh, we can, whether we can access the Apache server with a new FQDN. It will take a couple of minutes uh, since it uh, also requires the reboot post uh, setting host name. Okay, it's uh, set here. You can see here Arvind web server easycloud.end. So now it is rebooting. So it will take a couple of minutes uh, to come back. Let me try. No, it's still not yet. Yep. Just restarting it again. Okay, this time it took. So let me try to log in. Okay, let me switch user now. Fully logged in. So let me start the HTTPD service. Okay, so let me check the host name now. You see here Arvind web server dot easy cloud dot int. Okay, let me uh, let me try to access it from here. See here, we are getting this Arvind dot uh, Arvind web server dot easy cloud dot in. Okay, we are successfully uh, installed. So uh, today we learned how to set the host name and uh, 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 how to set the host name with the name tag from the AWS. Okay. And if you like this video, please click on like and share it with your friends. Thank you for watching.